My family had this extraordinary 1783 edition of Captain Cook's Voyages, leather bound to look like something in a magician's library. I spent a lot of my childhood opening it up and gazing at these exotic maps and these extraordinary illustrations. And it was through my fascination with those botanical explorers and illustrators that my book was born. The signature of all things is the name of a 16th century theory that was posited by this German mystic who believed that God had imprinted a message into the shape and form of every plant on earth about what that plant was for. Alma Whitaker is the daughter of an extraordinary botanical explorer who had traveled as a young man on Captain Cook's voyages around the world. And Alma, therefore, is born into this rarefied world. She has access to one of the greatest libraries in the New World. The world is at her fingertips except for literally. She cannot leave the estate. She is her father's assistant, his secretary. He needs her and her intellectual restlessness has been causing depression and fear. What is she gonna do with this great mind? And then one day she grabs a giant magnifying lens and goes outside and discovers this entire universe of mosses and realizes that there are varieties that nobody has ever studied. It's literally underfoot and she herself relates to the mosses and sort of identifies with them and realizes that this could be her world. And she begins to unravel some of the central mysteries of evolution. I know that there are very few greater pleasures in life than to completely be subsumed by the work that you're obsessed with, and that's completely who she is, and that is totally based on me. <laughs> it's not enough for me to just hear about something or read about something. I want to know it in my bones. I want to go out and roll around in the world that I'm inventing. And just as I had to go all the way to the French Polynesian archipelago that would be just the right place, I also had to come and find the mansion that would be just the right place for Alma. This place, Woodlands, had so many pieces of inspiration for me so that when I'm writing through these pages, I'm actually walking in my memory through these places where I've been. Alma's journey takes us on a journey through the world, through a century, through a woman's life, through science, through the great movements of the 19th century. When you read Dickens, you feel like he's taking you by the hand and saying, don't worry, I got this. Come with me, we are going to have the most amazing encounter together. And that's the feeling that I wanted this book to convey, that from the very first page, I'm gonna take you on a voyage and we're gonna go very far together through time and through space and through history. And when we come back on the other side, we'll be changed.